Hello students, I am Mr. Sandeep here and in manufacturing technology we have been going through metal joining processes. So let us start our discussion in chapter metal joining processes and today our topic is special welding processes. So in the welding we have been going through on different processes like resistance welding, arc welding, gas welding etc right so welding is a metal joining process which is used for making a permanent joint right so in the metal joining processes welding is very important process right so in the arc welding we have generated the arc and with help of the heat you can join two plates together that is the concept of welding in the gas welding we have used the heat generated by the burning of gases so oxyacetylene gas welding is the best example right so there are some processes which are considered as a special welding processes so let us start our discussion on special welding processes right so in the welding our purpose is to generate the heat and that heat can be utilized for joining of two metals right so let us start our discussion on special welding processes so here i mentioned few processes that is under category of special welding processes right so here i mentioned atomic hydrogen welding plasma welding laser beam welding and electron beam welding right so all these processes are special processes right so let us start our discussion one by one so let us start with electron beam welding process that is special welding process so here i mentioned the few important points regarding the electron beam welding right so as per the name here how heat is generated in this welding process so as per the name here electron beam is used for generating the heat right so we all are familiar with the electron right so electron or stream of electron or beam of electron is used for generating the heat so as per the name here electron gun is used or source of electron is used in other words electron beam can be generated and that can be striped at particular point where heat is generated right so our purpose is to utilize this heat in joining right so this process is known as a electron beam welding once again i repeat here our purpose is to generate the electron beam so we all are familiar with the characteristic or property of electron right so electron is nothing but it is having a very light or very low weight right so for this process we have to make a vacuum chamber so with help of vacuum chamber we can do this process very efficiently because weight of electron is very less right so here we require vacuum chamber because if we do this process in atmospheric condition what happens there will be a chances of strike of electron with a dust particle and other particles right so it cannot be focused at particular point so vacuum chamber is most for electron beam process right so here i mentioned the important points regarding electron beam welding here vacuum is must right so with help of vacuum pump you can make the vacuum chamber right so between cathode and anode electron is accelerated or say electron is generated and this focused beam of electron is striped at particular point where welding can be done right so this is the concept for electron beam welding in which anode and cathodes are used right so here i mentioned 
the principal figure for electron beam welding right so here our purpose is to generate the heat that is utilized a welding process right so here as mentioned in this figure cathode is used and also there is anode so between cathode and anode heat or say electron beam is generated and after that that electron is accelerated towards our plates or say our workpiece to be welded right so here focusing coil is also used here reflection coil is also used but purpose of whole setup is to may concentrate or say focus our electron beam at particular point right so in the electron beam welding our purpose is to strike the electron beam on the workpiece or plates to be joined or to be welded right so next here i mentioned the laser beam welding so laser is having a bundle of energy so we all are familiar with the laser and how can we generate the laser right so laser is nothing but light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation right and with help of the laser beam you can generate the high density of energy in terms of watt right so with help of laser you can do the welding as well right so laser beam welding is a special welding process in which laser beam is generated and with help of the heat generated you can join two plates together right so this is the concept for laser beam welding and here i mentioned the important key points regarding the laser beam welding right so here i also mentioned a setup for laser beam welding right so here laser is generated and it is nothing but a bundle of energy which is uh, having a very high heat input and with help of this heat you can join two plates right so here i mentioned the advantages for the laser beam welding right so the main advantage for laser beam welding is it is very suitable for very complex job right so if you want to do welding for a complex job with less costly and very high heat input is required then laser beam welding is very useful right so where other welding processes are difficult the laser beam welding is very important process right so here vacuum is not necessary or not required for laser beam welding so in case of electron beam welding the vacuum is must right so after that here i mentioned the next process and that is atomic hydrogen welding right so what happens in atomic hydrogen welding so in the atomic hydrogen welding as per the name hydrogen gas is utilized right so here two tungsten electrodes are used and with help of two tungsten electrode arc is generated and hydrogen shielding gas is provided so here hydrogen is shielding or present in the surrounding right so here which are the important points in the in the atomic hydrogen welding so first here i mention the principal figure for the atomic hydrogen welding so here two tungsten electrodes are used and arc is generated here that will be strike on the workpiece or two plates to be joined right so why hydrogen is used or provided here so here i mention the reason for the hydrogen so with help of hydrogen gas in the welding zone what happens first of all the dissociation of hydrogen will occur it means this association means here hydrogen will be break into two hydrogen atoms it means h2 will be break into two h atom right so here suddenly what happens here both hydrogen atoms will be united and hydrogen is generated again and this reaction is exothermic reaction and 
with this exothermic reaction very high heat is generated so this heat can be utilized in the building right that's why hydrogen is provided here right so this atomic hydrogen building process is very useful so let's have a look on atomic hydrogen building setup so here i mentioned the setup for atomic hydrogen building in which voltage supply is there and between two tungsten electrode r is generated right so this heat can be utilized in building so here heat generated is very high and temperature attained is very high so what happens here this welding process can be utilized for melting of tungsten or joining of tungsten metal which is having a higher melting point right so this is the important characteristic for atomic hydrogen welding so here i mentioned the melting point of tungsten also right after that one process is that that is plasma arc welding so here i mentioned the plasma arc welding process so here in the plasma arc welding process as per the name plasma gas is used or say plasma gas will come into picture right so here in the plasma arc welding arc is generated and here plasma gas is there so what do you mean by plasma or plasma gas plasma is nothing but conducting gas or say ionized gas so due to high temperature and due to the arc the gas will be ionized right and this ionized gas can be work as a conducting atmosphere and due to this arc is generated and strike on the work piece and heat is generated right so here plasma means it is nothing but ionized gas right so here the inert gases are used and after that with help of the r the gas will be ionized and converted in the plasma form that will be a conducting surrounding right so here with help of a heat generated by the r what happens welding can be done right so here tungsten electrode is generally used right so with help of polarity positive and negative you can generate the r right so this is the principle for this welding process right that is a plasma r welding right so our purpose is to generate the heat by different principle and then apply this heat in the welding zone right so this is all about the different special welding processes thank you all